Wingapo, welcome. My name is Rose Powhatan, and I'm descended from the Pamunkey tribe of Indians, part of the historic Powhatan Paramountcy, a group of 32 indigenous nations which stretched all the way from today's North Carolina up to the Patuxet. And here I am in Patuxet River Park sharing some stories with you today. I hope you enjoy them. You know, a lot of people have different names for their homeland. For example, I know you call this the United States of America, but at one time my ancestors called this Atan Akamik, which means our fertile nation, giving thanks to the Creator for making everything in nature to support life. A lot of other people that were indigenous to the eastern woodlands part of this country called this area Turtle Island. And over the years, you may have noticed a lot of turtle motifs in Indian art and culture. And it's for a very special reason. They actually believe that we came up from the back of the turtle where ground was formed. But you know, as all stories are, it, it had to start somewhere else first. And this starts up in the heavens with the sky people. It was related to me years ago that the head being of the sky people had a beautiful daughter who unfortunately became pregnant against his wishes with someone else that he didn't necessarily approve of. So what was he to do? The shame of it all. He decided that she didn't deserve to be up in the sky with the sky people again. And there was nothing down here on the other side of the clouds. So what he did was he decided he banish her. But he didn't have a bad heart, because remember, this was his daughter. So he telepathically, in some kind of magic way, communicated with a giant turtle that lived down in the waters. Because at that time, you had different layers of beings. And they lived in different parts of this, this whole cosmos. And you had the people in the water that were sea beings, and you had beings that were in the sky, our feathered uh, relations. So what happened was the father of this young woman telepathically let a giant turtle at the bottom of the ocean know that he was casting his daughter out from down through the clouds out of the heavens. And he meant her no harm. So he wanted this giant turtle to come up from the depths of the water with some muck on the back of her shell so that when his daughter fell out of the heavens, she would safely fall down into the soft soil on the turtle's back. So that day came, and the sky father took a tree, and he took that big tree with one hand, and he made a hole down into the clouds, and with the other hand, he threw his daughter down, down, down through the sky, through the hole that the tree had made. And both she and that tree landed safely on the back of the turtle. And she gave birth. Some people said it was the one child. Others said, well, maybe it was two. Maybe they were twins. And over time, that mucky, soil that was on the turtle's back got larger and more rich and dense 
and the tree bore different seeds so that they were planted into that soil and the children of that first mother that came down through the sky prospered and that's why some people call this Turtle Island to this day. And some people claim that when you kind of look down at North America, it sort of looks like a turtle, even with the tail. And when the turtle moves, uh-oh, you have all kinds of disturbances. But whenever you see a turtle design on Native American art, or people talk of this as being Turtle Island. I want you to remember how our elders many years ago claimed that that's because of the sky people who sent that first mother down through the clouds to make this our Turtle Island today. Mm -hmm. And while I'm at it, that reminds me of a another turtle story that I heard when I was little. And uh, it's kind of interesting because, you know, we always say the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, or if you're tall, you wish you were short. If you had straight hair, I wish you had curls. You know, everybody wants something different. And a long, long time ago, before human beings were even around everywhere, in this land. The animals could communicate with each other. And at that time, turtles had a smooth shell in the back, a very smooth turtle shell that could very shiny. It could almost reflect the sun. It was so smooth and shiny. And one day a little turtle overheard some birds coming back from flying around and seeing all kinds of things. And, and the little turtle said, oh, I wish I could fly. I'm down here on the ground, close to the ground all the time. The birds have all the fun. They can fly all over the place and see all kinds of things. And they, they fly so fast and I crawl so slow. So the little turtle asked the creator, Creator, why can't I fly like the birds? And the creator said, Little turtle, to each his own. You have your own special gifts down there on the earth. Be happy with what you are, little turtle. But little turtle still sad, and he started to cry. And he went near the birds, and they were all talking to other birds about flying all over the place, all the different lands and sights they had seen. And little turtle got even sadder. And then one of the birds looked and he said, what's wrong, little turtle? Are we frightening you? He said, oh no, oh no, you're not frightening me. I wish I could fly too and go everywhere like you do and see all these wonderful things but I'm just a little turtle. And Creator said I should be happy with what I am. So I just have to stay down here on the ground and walk real slow. And the birds felt sorry for little turtle. So two of them got together and they said, pss, 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 pss. they were trying to think of some kind of plan to help little turtle. Pss, pss, pss. So one of them said, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. What we'll do is get a strong stick and we'll let Little Turtle know that he's to hold on tight to that stick and we'll lift it up and we can fly all over the place. A Little Turtle can fly with us. And they said, okay. So the two birds went into Little Turtle and said, Little Turtle, today you're going to fly. And he said, what? Do you really mean it? I'm going to fly, but I don't have wings. The Creator said I should be happy with what I am. And they said, don't worry, here's what you're going to do. We have a nice strong stick, little turtle, and we want you to hold tight to that stick. And we're going to lift up that 
stick and you're going to fly all over the place with us. Okay? And Little Turtle said, all right, I'm ready when you are. So the two birds got on either side, one on each side of him. And they put the stick down to the ground. They said, hold on tight, Little Turtle. And Little Turtle said, okay. And Little Turtle held on to that stick. And he was being lifted up off the ground. And he said, whee! And the birds took him all over the place. Oh, I'm having fun. Oh, this is wonderful. Little Turtles was so happy, he clapped his hands. Uh-oh. And then he fell down, down, down. He landed on his back. And he said, oh. Oh, Creator told me I should be happy with what I was, and I didn't listen. Oh, but it was wonderful to fly. Oh, and all the animal friends came, and they looked at Little Turtle, and they felt so sorry for them. They didn't know if he was going to survive. But then Creator said, Little Turtle, I think you've learned your lesson, and you're going to live, but you're going to have a reminder on your back about what happened today. And from now on, every other turtle after you will remember this day when turtle could fly. And little turtle said, okay, thank you. And the creator said, okay, now I want you to pull yourself up as hard as you can and get on your four feet. And Little Turtle said, okay. And he got up. But he was changed. There was something different about Little Turtle. And everyone said, oh, what happened to his beautiful, shiny, smooth shell? It's all broken up. Yes, it was broken up. And it was a new pattern on that smooth, shiny shell. In the middle, there were 13 pieces. And then around the edge, there were 28 pieces. And you know the significance of that. In ancient times, we used to keep time by 13 months of the year. And each month had 28 days. So Little Turtle's back was a reminder of the time that the Creator was giving him in curing him from his fall from the heavens. So to this day, whenever you look at the turtle and you see those 13 sections in the middle and those 28 sections around the edge, remember that one day turtle could fly. Anna.